Hello, everyone. This time we will review on qualitative data analysis. But before that, please subscribe on my channel. We are now in the qualitative data analysis. So I'll give you some advice and some tips on how you are going to analyze your qualitative data. So we have the key ideas here. You have to prepare and organize the data for analysis. Explore the data, describe and develop the themes from the data, represent and report the findings, interpret the findings, validate and the accuracy and credibility of the findings of data analysis. So the research collects data that is, it can be a text file such as field notes or transcriptions, optionally scanned materials and others. So the researcher prepares data for analysis. So you have you transcribe the field notes so it, this is from interactive to simultaneous. So the researchers read through data, example of the general sense of material. Then the researcher codes the data, example, locate text segments and assign a code to label them. And the codes codes the text for description to be used in the research report. A visual mode, model of the coding process in qualitative research so first from the data set initially read through data many pages of text if you encoded it or from the recording if you record the data set divide text into segments of information so first if you are you are recording you have to encode that one that data then from many segments of text then label segments of information with codes from 30 to 40 codes and codes reduced to 20 and so on. Reduce overlap and redundancy of codes. Kana nang balik balik na siya. So you have to combine that one. Then collapse codes into themes. Reduce codes to five to seven common or general themes. I have here some matrix sample file. Organization. This is in our study implementation of K-12 program in the province of Bohol. So, yung ani siya pag arrange participants, your in-depth interview, the documents, or if you have some observations. So, participants one, principal one, principal two, and so on. Princip teacher are are respondents are principals, teachers, and students. So, teacher one, teacher two, or respondent one, respondent two. We have students, student one, student two. Analysis. So we have here compiling, disassembling, reassembling, or interpreting and concluding. So we are we can compile, sorting the data in some order. Then after that, you can disassemble, breaking down the compiled data into smaller fragments or assigning a new labels or coding. So I'll give you an actual study, an actual example here. This is my study on the early and recurring experiences toward general mathematics. So I will share you. I have one question here. Write down this found in the mathography. This is a biography in math. Write down some of the early mathematics accomplishments that you remember from when you were little. So only one question, but I have uh, four or five supported uh, sub questions here for uh, as a guide. So for instance, when and how did you learn how to count? How old were you first count to 100? Who taught you? How did they teach you? Did you show off this new talent to others? So this is my question. Then I come up this list of table. You have a participant, uh, interview excerpts or narrative statements, and you come up a conclusion. So this is the first thing you are going to do in making an analysis. So this is the actual response of the first question here, I have 25 respondents in this study. So in uh, we have here first participant. When I was little, my mother was the first person who taught me to count using my fingers and so on. So then after that, in all the responses, you created a translation. Since you can even have your narrative statement in verba verbatim. So you can translate that one. So after your narrative statement, you create your translation. So out of 25 respondents, there are, uh, I have here my translation. So the students re received their, their basic counting lesson from their parents, they learn, and so on and so forth. So we have here, after this, 
So I transfer my question, so it's up to you. You can have still the participant, the narrative statement translation before you can come up the common theme. So uh, this time I'm using in vivo for this uh, study group, all the responses and create your actual themes or general. Then, so I have your question. You can transfer the common themes here. So answer of the participant one, still narrative statement and the translation. Okay, so we have here, from that, I have uh, from this participant one, narrative statement, translation, I transfer my common themes here. I created a theme using in vivo. So these are my themes, early mathematics, uh, early mathematics encounter recalled, then recalling likes and dislikes to add or subtract, bag of tricks, importance of adding and subtracting. Okay, so this is an actual example. And then I'm using this in vivo. In an in vivo, you are going to create your nodes. This one. So how many percentage uh, answered, uh, use the word. So we have length, the count, and the weighted percentage. So you can use this one in your actual report. Okay. So this is another. Okay. This is found in in vivo. I correction the print screen. It's very difficult to show the screen if more run ang in vivo. Okay, so here, uh, this is the again a summary. So as you can see here, na siya reference. So we have references. How many percentage response that one? So makita siya dary ang coverage. Okay, so this is the actual summary for word cloud. Sa clouds ni siya, so iya siyang i-count. So, ang um, higher words here is math, so mathematics. So, we have other responses here. Uh, okay, attitude, level, of, level, learning. So, kani mga greater, bigger, mani siya ang general. Okay. So, mani siya kanindot sa in vivo, kana siya summary of words. And then, okay, so this is in the in vivo. I created my codes here. The nodes here, the bag of tricks, importance, uh, recalling, then to add and subtract. Okay. And then, this one, this is the last part. After I have this one, this is your guide. So if you have already your common themes, you can create your findings and then come up with a conclusion. So this is this is only for the first question that I have. I have 12 questions for this research. So this is for the first question. I created six, uh, one, two, three, four, five, five common themes for the first question so early math encounters recall then recalling likes and dislikes to add and subtract bag of tricks importance of adding and subtracting so in qualitative you can only have one question why in one question you have here you're going to explain the, all the themes you have gathered here so you have created so i come up this findings thank you for watching Please don't forget to subscribe on my channel. It's free.